Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4, and it reads, The soul of the sluggard craves in vain, but the diligent soul is amply satisfied. The soul of the sluggard craves in vain. Oh, I wish I could lose 100 pounds. Oh, I wish I had a six-pack and, and, you know, pecs that were pectacular. Oh, I, you know, wish, wish that I had enough money to retire on. And yet, these people don't do anything to change their situation. The sluggard craves in vain. They're thinking maybe that some pill or, you know, some quick and easy fix is going to get them the muscles they want or lose the weight that they want or um, get them the money that they want for retirement. But yet they don't do anything to make this happen. The soul of the sluggard craves in vain, but the diligent soul is amply satisfied. The diligent soul, somebody that, that, that puts legs to their own prayers, that works to make a solution uh, to their problem that works with their hands to get what they desire. Oh, I wish I had a six pack. Okay, I'm going to get a gym membership. I'm going to eat right. And, uh, you know, I'm going to make this happen. Oh, I wish I could lose a hundred pounds. Oh, I'm going to diet. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to join, you know, a, a an accountability, accountability group for people that are addicted to food. You know, oh, I wish that I could I, I wish that I had the money that I, I needed to retire. Okay, well, I'm going to get a second job uh, or, a, or an odd job or a part-time job just temporarily, just so I can put back enough. It says the diligent soul is amply satisfied. It doesn't say that the, that the path of the diligent is going to be easy, it's going to be fun, that you're going to want to do it. A lot of times the things that we want the most are things that we don't want to do or we don't want to uh, participate in to make happen because it's not easy, because it's hard. But the diligent soul is amply satisfied. A little hard work and a little elbow grease and a little effort will go a long way. You know, I remember when I started working out, it wasn't really much of a problem for me to do cardio, but I hated weightlifting. I absolutely hated it. But you know, I stuck with it. And the more that I stuck with it, the more that I started in to enjoy it. And do you know when I started to love weightlifting is when I looked in the mirror and I was combing my beard and I saw my bicep. I was like, am I, am I seeing things or, or does it actually look, look, look bigger? I ran downstairs to my wife and I said, honey, am I just imagining things or is my bicep bigger? And her eyes got as big as saucers. And I'm like, oh, I'm starting to see gains from this, this weightlifting. I'm going to keep doing it. And it made me want to do it more. So if you stick with it and once you see, start seeing results, no matter how small they are, it makes you want to keep going until you reach your goal. But if you sit there and do nothing, talk is cheap. All talk and no action, right? The soul of the sluggard craves in vain keeps wanting and wishing and verbalizing the desires, but never does anything to cause those desires to come to pass. You can't expect to pray to God and him send down what you want on a golden ray of heavenly light. It's not going to happen. You know, this isn't in the Bible, but it's a true saying. Nonetheless, God helps those who help themselves. You know, so you got to make the effort. It says, but the diligent soul is amply satisfied. You know, I also remember this one person that was very lonely and very depressed says, oh, nobody comes to visit me. I'm like, uh, well, you know, make a few phone calls, you know, and, 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 and go out for coffee with, with someone. Oh, I'm just not the type of person to, to, to talk on the phone. I don't like talking on the phone. Well, I never asked if you like talking on the phone. I just gave you a solution to your problem. Oh, nobody ever comes to visit me. Well, do you visit anybody else? Oh, no, I'm just not the type to get in the car and to go tra traipsing around everywhere. <laughs> Look, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have it both ways. You got to be diligent and put forth the effort to solve your problem of loneliness. Make a phone call. Get in the car. Go out and visit somebody. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. You can't expect to make one phone call and it all be good or visit one person and it all be fine. You got to keep doing it. And then, oh, well, nobody reciprocates. Well, does it really matter if somebody reciprocates? You're the one who wants company. You're the one who doesn't want to be lonely. So then you should put forth the effort to go out and, you know, set a date with a, f a family member or a friend or go out and do something. 
The soul of the sluggard craves in vain, but the diligent soul is amply satisfied. So go out there and be diligent today. Thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Abrahamsdescendants.com Getting back to the first century in a 21st century way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom. Thanks for watching. Stay connected by subscribing to our other social media accounts and visiting our website at abrahamsdescendants.com.